Hi there, it's Sonia Boko. Welcome back to my channel. I share with balloon artists special tips, tricks, and techniques on how to make amazing balloon art. And happy Valentine's Day to you. In today's design, I wanted to share with you some tricks to get a beautiful looking balloon wand. Now, when you're new and starting out to making beautiful balloon wands, what I do find is a tendency towards a beautiful love heart atop a very long stem and it might have four or so petals on there because if we did try to add another one into this, it would start getting a little bit tight. But what I really love to do is pay attention to proportion. I like to really try and get a nice balance between the size and the petals on the flower wand and the heart that sits atop, but also the handle that sits below. So I've done a video before talking a little bit about balloons and proportions and how we can make it look overall aesthetically pleasing by getting a beautiful balance between the bubble sizes in relation to the entire design. So these two balloon scepters are surely worthy of any princess or queen. However, I tend to find that I have a preference towards one in this style. And you might find that a balloon artist who might be starting out may more tend to do it in this longer handle with those larger petals. So I'm here to show you some of my tricks to get that nice smallish size to the petals and that nicely proportioned handle. All right, are you ready? Let's get into it. So this design is going to feature the six inch heart by Qualitex and the beautiful reflex line by Batalex. I really love this metallic purple. It's got this beautiful luster and shine. So what I'm going to do is use my pump to inflate. Any pump will do, but I am going to use my Legenda. I'm going to start off by inflating. I'm going to start off by inflating my beautiful reflex balloon. I'm going to leave approximately 15 centimeters, which is around six inches of uninflated tail. Here I've left about a two and a half centimeter or an inch of uninflated balloon, which is really useful when you're doing designs that are going to attach another creation on top. What we're going to do now is make flower petals and we're going to make as many as we can until we run out of tail. Each of my petals is approximately three fingers wide. And we're going to go ahead to continue. Squeezing and twisting as I go. So now that I've got a massive brains at the top of my balloon wand, I'm going to go ahead to straighten that out. <laughs> so typically I get around six to seven flower petals out by doing the technique like this. And I feel like this is a nicely proportioned handle to go along with the heart that we're going to put on top. When I inflate my hearts, I like to keep my finger compressing into the center of the lobe. Just to really help to accentuate those curves, I'm going to just express a little air out before I tie that off. And now taking our beautiful wand base from before. <laughs> We're just going to attach it right in there. Now I think it's because I actually pre-inflated my heart once before, but it's actually gotten quite larger. Those two side by side, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Pre
pre-inflating air into the balloon and then releasing it out does actually stretch it a little bit and look at the difference it's made on that that is really quite cool so looking again at our trio of balloon wands we can see here that I've achieved a longer handle on this instance as opposed to on the original one and that's the beauty of balloons because things do come out differently but what I think is really important with this design is paying attention to the size of those petals that you're creating trying of course to keep them in proportion which can be tricky but small variances won't be noticeable but trying to maintain the relative portion of the handle with this so again while this is beautiful and would be appreciated by the young or the young at heart I find that it really makes a difference when constructing the wands. As a beginner and even as a seasoned pro there really is nothing wrong with this design I do want to stress that but I think if you're really wanting to up your wow factor paying attention to the proportions of things in this kind of way can really make a difference. That's pretty much it for today's Valentine's Day balloon twisting tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, why not make my Valentine's Day by giving it a big thumbs up and if you do, then this is for you. Mwah. Seriously though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay twisted and I'll see you in my next video. If you're watching this on February 14, happy Valentine's Day. With tips, tricks and techniques on how to make amazing balloon art. Hi there, Sonia Boko here. Any princess or queen would love to have Now any princess or queen in waiting. Now any princess or queen which my mouth made a really weird noise. Any princess or queen I'm sure will be thrilled with either oh, it's a rooster crowing. It is nearly 4 p.m. in the afternoon, the rooster should not be crowing. So here with these two beautiful examples of a balloon skip. This is really loud. Ooh.